fateful night my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter <laughs> comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori, import-export magnet, one-time Pipex CEO. International arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman, a philanthropist who gives to charity, not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence, a masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. We all wear masks in public. Every day is a thousand little performances. Perhaps, but some are more encompassing than others. Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Maury's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his communications. Hotel security are guarding him particularly close. A man like Maury counts more enemies than friends. I wonder why that is. Well, looks like Roulette is his Achilles heel. He has a reputation for being lucky. But then you don't need luck when you own the house. I could hack the cameras, but I've already got visual. I need to hear him. He certainly enjoys the good life, doesn't he? Made a fortune running guns during the Arab Spring. Diversified into biotech shortly after. From what I understand, he's not one for pinching pennies. Al, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a badge. He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. Don't tell anyone, but uh, I'm here undercover. Don't worry. 
I can keep a secret. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce. You think your gibberish intimidates me? How about we go back to my place? Oh. I'll call my driver. Meet me outside? Well, since you put it like that, I never do this, you know. You know, me neither. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go! <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is, are you dead? Now, let's get started. Get your suit. Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Get back inside, or I'll... <laughs> Al, let Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. Get back inside, or I'll... Gordon on the line, scrambling audio now. Gordon. Batman, what's the status? Batman? Multiple gunmen, hostages at the casino. A madman in a mask. Riddler's back in Gotham. Riddler? He hasn't been seen in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this! Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very nature of our existence. The mere pondering of which can drive brilliant men to madness. It's the kind of conundrum that drives you to distraction. 
rattling around like a rattler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. I know. Remember, choose your words carefully, Maury. You only have so many fingers. It'll be that much harder to count your blood money. But don't think you can just stop. Riddler's taken hostages, casino patrons, innocent bystanders. Uh, they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Audio playback fully functional. Time for a distraction. Patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front covered by gunmen, and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? Frontal assault. Try and draw their fire away from me. You got it. You, you're completely insane. No, I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. Schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! Using his head. Break it open. With pleasure.
I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city. Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely at my mercy. I don't see much evidence of that. I expected more of a battle from you, Batman. Something longer. More of a match of wits. While my men mop up what passes for law enforcement in this town. to be kidding. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city. Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are. Completely at my mercy. I don't see much evidence Gordon, of that. Now. Oh, you have to be kidding. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city. Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Gordon, here you no. are. Oh, you have to be kidding. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge. This is my city! Now I'm back, and I'm taking what's mine. Either your thinking or your brain has stopped working entirely. 
You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely Gordon, at my mercy. No. Smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well, since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you, I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! All you scum are the same. Only thing that changes is the mask. Spoken like a man who sees the world in black and white. Allow me to broaden your spectrum. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Gordon, Yet no. here you are. Smart enough. Let me show you how it was done back in the day. Do it for me. Follow the power lines. There must be a weak point. That's cheating! You think I care about your rules? I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. Why wouldn't you just let him die? Tight-lipped or empty-headed? How about I crack your skull open and find out? You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen.
You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads. Tell me all about it down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody, not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help. Dragging him down. He got a sick pleasure out of taunting us. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon. Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way. I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary bad man. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. And you are. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. World-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. Does this one speak? Just say what you want to say. With pleasure. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly, and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. <sighs> Don't worry. We'll come around. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. What was that charge of the Light Brigade crap with the riot shields? Good cops got hurt because of it. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? Or are those stars purely for show? That's what you get when you don't follow procedure. Good people get hurt, and the bad guy gets away. Thanks for the support. I know it doesn't feel like it, Commissioner, but I'm here to help. Batman gets it. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. 
Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far, as a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Think you made a good impression, Batman. My boss isn't usually that nice. <sighs> I'd like to see her on a bad day. Special Agent Imana Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only. <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. Well, let me know if you think of anything. It'd be a help. <clears throat> I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. I don't like what you're insinuating. Uh, of course, I... Keep your pop's psych evaluations to Riddler and stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. I'm not here to step on any toes. Treat me and my people like partners. Promise you'll share anything on the Riddler. You and me aren't going to have any problems at all. That's all. I just wanted to let you know where I stand. An eventful evening. I've taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. I need something... The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work.